Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will be making a airlock system with uh, sliding doors. So let's just start by maybe making a make it six and then take it out five six yes yeah, should be fine something like that we do the same here all right so basically we will have a door here two sliding doors that separate in the middle you can go in push a button the door closes behind us push another button the other door opens here also with a split opening in the middle and then we can close it on the outside all right so we will need sliding servos we will start by putting down sliding servos here and in this case we are making them four long like so, then we put down blocks on the sliders, like that. On the outside, we make a button panel for our outside door. And we take some buttons. Here we go. So one there, and another one here. We want one on the inside as well, on this side, and also on the other side. All right. So, because we have two buttons on each side, we will start off by using a XR. And basically, we take this, put it into the XR and the other button as well. From the XOR, we want a uh, edge detector. And uh, from the XOR output into the edge connector. And then we actually want another, another XOR. Let's put it over here. So from the pulse on rising edge, we take that, put it inside the edge, uh, inside the XOR input A. Then we also want a uh, a buffer uh, tick, and let's put it over here from the XOR output here we will connect it to the input on the buffer and from the output of the buffer we connect it to the input B so it loops what this does is it basically makes this button and this button a toggle button in a sense uh, so when you click it this will remember it's kind of a memory you know yeah Either way, we need to get our good old buddy, the blend. Let's put that over here. And from the XOR here, that's also connected to the buffer, we go from the output and into the blend alpha. From the output here to the sliding servo, choose target position. Do this on both. There we go. Go back to the applicator. Select the blend. And put the input B to 4. Because that's how long our servos are. So we do it like this. Hit done. And as you see. When we push the button. They cycle through on and off. Kind of. 
like a toggle button. Let's choose the resizer. Like so. So when you hit, it opens up. You can go in, lock the door behind you. And I get a lot of comments about the wires. You can take your applicator, click on logic, and there is a visible toggle button here. If you click the visibility button on all of your logic, like so, once you go uh, to have nothing in your hand, everything is invisible. But everything still works. They're still here, you can't just see them. But when you take out your tool again, you see them once again. Now, you can basically just copy this. Paste it again on the other side. And just hook up your buttons to the XR over here and also from the blend to these sliders take target position target position there we go using the resizer to make the door the right height and length like so so there you go an easy airlock system right pressurize the room open the other door close it behind you all right that's all for this time thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um Post a comment if you got any ideas about what I could do next. I'm open for anything, basically. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!